I suppose the next question is, why are you a Stoke supporter? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't remember because <laughs> uh, I was nine years old at that time and maybe it was because my father made tipping and I see the name Stoke and uh, maybe it started because of that. And you've been to the Britannia Stadium many times? Uh, yeah, mm, you know, uh, Victoria Ground only one time but here in the Britannia Stadium many, many, many times. So you've gone grey because of the way we play? <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> and you have a friend with you today. How come you support Stoke and what's your name please? Oh, so my name is Jyrki uh, and uh, we used to see and we still see uh, uh, English football on our TV. So I remember it was like uh, early, early 70s I think. I used to watch the, watch the games regularly. And then there was one game, it was uh, like a club called Stoke and they were playing against club called Leeds and our Leeds was the league leaders at that time mm -hmm. and half time they were leading by two goals to nil and then this small and very interesting club called Stoke finally won the game by, by three goals to two and that was like I guess the day when I started to follow the club who was climbing up the table that season very nicely. And of those players of, the, of that time, who, who do you remember that played for the football club? Uh, so, Jimmy Greenhoff scored in that game. Alan Hudson was from there, Mike Bejic. Uh, I think Peter Shilton was the keeper at that time. So. Alan Dodd, Mike Bays. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, glorious, glorious days, great <laughs> names. But luckily, glorious days and great names are here again. That's right, but some of those players you mentioned, the like of Mike Bejic, Jimmy Greenoff, Alan Hudson are still big supporters of the football club. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. that's what's nice about, we feel is nice about Stoke, because some of the older players stay in touch with the football mm -hmm. club. And indeed, when you go and watch the game against yeah, Norwich, yeah. you'll probably see some of these people there, particularly yeah, Mike Pedic, yeah, yeah. who commentates now for a local radio station. Yeah. You'll probably see him yeah. at the ground. Of the current players, who do you think are the better players that we have now? Oh. Ah, uh, that's a tough question because I think we have a great, great squad at the moment. Um, I think and Jonesy has been playing very well this season. I, I think there's big potential in, in Palacios. I think I hope he will like break through this season. We have interesting new signings. Arnautovic has been playing very well. So I got big hopes, and I I have always liked Panon because I think his his crossings are so so precise. I really enjoy him playing as well. So, but, but not not to forget all the others. I think we have great squad. And do you think that we have a problem with scoring goals? Yes, we, we have now. <laughs> what players do you like? Uh, because I I used to play as a centre half in in my. You got your boots? <laughs> <laughs> not, not for today, much. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, of course, Sokros and Robert Hart, they are, they are my favourite because of my position. So you're a big Robert Huth fan? Uh, yes. And Ryan Shawcross obviously is a, is a great player too. Yes, we can't exactly. forget Ryan. Yeah. What do you think of Eric Peters, our new fullback? I think he's uh, very interesting, very promising. Uh, well, more than that, I think he, he was a good signing because we had that problem on the on the left side that who would be like exactly the person for that. I think um, um, Wilson, yeah, Wilson, Wilson. So his natural position is in it's midfield. midfield. So in a way, I think he played quite okay, but he's like a, not a natural left left back. So I think he's he's better in the in the current position. And um, now. Some of the footballers and some of the supporters felt that Tony Pulis' reign as Stoke manager had come to an end and we needed to move to whatever the next level is. Mm. What are your thoughts on Tony Pulis as a manager for Stoke City? Mm. What did you think of Tony? He did great things. We, he, he gave us the promotion, he kept up. Him up. But uh, in a way, I think the, it's, it's a light right expression to say that if you want to go to the next level and definitely we are now going to the next level so i think it was the right thing to do so you're all you're all happy i won't ask tony times because he has to live here all the time <laughs> but you're all happy with mark hughes then you think mark hughes has started to do a good job yeah we have a lot of uh, doubts before 
before the, of the season, but uh, now the start of the season is, is wonderful. Is this because we actually pass the ball now? Are you? Yeah, you, yes. We're not training our neck muscles to look yes. up in the air anymore. We're looking along the ground. Yeah, I was not sure when the when use was named that it was like a right decision, but I I have changed my view pretty pretty rapidly. I think uh, I enjoy watching this kind of football much more than than what was before. That's good. Can I ask you then, when you're in Finland and and you're not here to watch a game? Do you watch it all together, or do you watch it separately? Do you, do you have a place that you go to watch? Or? Uh, separately, because we live uh, in different cities. But you keep in touch, yeah? Yes. Yeah. And you're all very depressed if we don't win. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> we watch together. Yeah? yeah. So what, what, what will you be doing here in Stoke-on-Trent this weekend? What will you be doing? Obviously going to the pub with Tony, because Tony will take you to the Glebe, I think it is. Yeah, so visiting the ground, hopefully. I was hoping to, to see the training ground, but I'm afraid we don't have time for that. So you have to come back again to see the training ground? Yeah. 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 What's, what's we, the we, we, we're going on the tour this afternoon. Yeah. So you're going to ground, see the ground? We're going to this afternoon, so, yeah. yes, and then across to the Harvester for a meal. Brilliant. That's all booked. So. And what are your predictions for the game? Do you think we will win? 2-0. Two 2-0 zero. Two zero to Stoke? Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of us told that it would be 3-1. I think that's like uh, would be quite okay. But I think we would be pretty um, uh, unhappy if we don't get a win. Now, just finally, before we let you go, and I should have let you go really on that positive note, when you went into Europe watching Stoke City, when you went to Tom, did you go to any of the other games, or is that the only one you went to? Yeah, to Kiev also, and, uh, and at the Brit some matches and also to Istanbul. Right, so you did Kiev, Istanbul and Tum. What were your experiences, what were your memories of Stoke in Europe at that occasion? Uh, I think it was, uh, for, the, for the fans, it was a great experience because I met many Stoke fans who, who haven't been abroad before to see different countries, culture, uh, the different kind of fans like in Istanbul, they were fantastic. I think one of the most experienced, I mean, you, you said it when we were in uh, in Tun, in Switzerland. Uh, I think your view of the English people changed when you saw Stoke fans enjoying themselves so much, yeah. getting drunk, but behaving and enjoying themselves and throwing themselves into the river. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But you, your experience of English people changed that day. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, for me, it's been a great privilege to meet you. And it's certainly thanks to people like Tony that we get overseas fans coming to the ground and, and you form friendships which you keep forever <laughs> and I hope that you have a wonderful time tomorrow and anybody who watches this film who sees you at the Brit will no doubt shake your hands and wish you well for the future but we can't let you go without a quick chorus of Delilah so come on <laughs> uh, we have our own song for us oh, fine. Uh, fine. Go e for even it. better go for it forget I was it Suomen kannatus laula okay oi on Oi stoukki on, oi stoukki on niin ihana. On meillä sauna, viina ja kirves. On oi stoukki on niin ihana. That's brilliant. Great, you can't. Not one word without the veil. That was fantastic. Did you enjoy that? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, what does that mean? Uh, oh, come on, have you got it on? Yeah. Right. Our stoukk is so, so like fantastic. Oh, Stog is so fantastic. And then we have yeah. sauna. We, we have, have only sauna. Uh, what, what was the word? Uh, spirit drink. Uh, oh, so the, the alcohols. And, and hammer. Hammer. Great. Sounds just perfect for us. <laughs> Thank you very much.